Hello everyone, this is Adam from Mindforge Technologies. I'm going to show you how to customize Firefox a little bit, um, focusing just on giving yourself the most screen space possible for your surfing. Um, but you can use those ideas uh, to do whatever you want with it. Um, basically, for Firefox, the possibilities are endless. Um, so you just want to launch your Firefox browser, the one that you installed in the previous tutorial. And, uh, and you can see now that how much space up here is taken up by things that aren't actually a web page. And of course if we make a new tab, which you do by hitting control and tab, um, we can see we've added another bar yet. And so now this huge amount of space is taken up um, that's cutting into your uh, viewing pleasure. So I want to get rid of that. So uh, there are a few ways to do this um, and depending on on how much stuff you like to have up here. I like to have as little as possible. So I'm going to show you that. So the first thing to know is that this stuff is all quite customizable, um, unlike in Internet Explorer. And uh, so all you have to do is right click anywhere on this bar and click on Customize. And this will give you some of your first options. So the first thing that I will do is make these icons over here, which you can see are very large, uh, just make them smaller. So if you click Use Small Icons, you can see they shrink. Now they're much smaller. You can see it go back and forth. So that gives you a little bit of, of screen space left, and there's really no reason to have those really big icons. Um, the other thing is you can clean up which actual tools you have up here. Um, I never actually used the home button, so I'll just pull that off. And you can just click and hold down and drag, and then let go. And uh, that will get rid of your thing. You can also do it the other direction. So if you want to have a thing that you can click to get to a new tab, then you can just click and hold down on this new tab thing, drag it over, and unclick and it's right there. Uh, I don't use that either. So after you've done that, while you're in this customized menu, you can also move anything up here around. And so what I'm going to do is move all the stuff in this toolbar, in this row, up to here to give myself some more space. And so again, you just click and hold down and then drag and then let go. You can see a black line appears where it's going to drop. And just do that with each part. So click and hold down, drag and let go. And that's it. And you can even drag over the address bar, which is this thing, and the search bar. Click and hold down, drag and let go. And that's it. So we can click done. And now we've gotten rid of an entire row um, that we can now actually even get rid of completely. So that's the navigation toolbar. So if you just right click over here and then regular click, left click on navigation toolbar, then it goes away. So now we've added some space back. And uh, I never actually use my bookmarks toolbar, which is this one, um, because I use X marks and keyboard shortcuts, um, which uh, I'll get into at a later point. So you can also get rid of this, but you can't right click here, you have to right click up here, and then you can uncheck bookmarks toolbar. And so now you can see you've gotten rid of all of this stuff and you have a lot more screen space. The last thing is that now that you have all this stuff up here, it's looking very cluttered. So we're going to get an add on that will fix this problem for us. So I'm just going to do a search for Firefox add-ons uh, so that you can just get right to the site. Um, this is really the where the beauty of Firefox comes in, is that there are add-ons that can do pretty much everything. Uh, there are themes, so you can make your Firefox look different. You can add all kinds of colors. You can change the uh, icons to look different, and, and so on and so forth. So you can just kind of peruse through here and see all the different things that you could want. Um, you can browse through them, see all the different things. And, uh, and if you are a web developer, there are all kinds of tools that will work really well for you. Uh, if you do really any, any specific thing, you'll be able to find uh, applications for, or sorry, add-ons for. So I'm just going to search for one called Tiny Menu. And basically what this does is it collapses all of these things up here into one single menu called Menu, um, so that you can get rid of all of this stuff up here. So you can see... Once I've done a search for it, then it'll show me everything that kind of matches my search. The one I'm interested in is the top option. And you can see Add to Firefox. So you just click there. It'll pop up with a little screen um, that will tell you to be careful, uh, which is a good idea. And hit Install. And then you're brought into the little add-ons dialog box up here and this will show you your list of add-ons. So extensions are the things that add different functionality to your browser, which is what Tiny Menu would be. And uh, installation is just going to tell us where things have, have just been installed. Plugins are things like um, Flash Player and those different kinds of media players and the ones that you see here. 
and themes, you can see there's a default theme and that's all that I have, but you can download a lot more from the same website. And you can just look through them and find something that you like. And so as you can see, you won't actually see the effects until we restart Firefox. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And when it comes back up, you'll see that we can just close out of here that now everything has been collapsed right into a menu bar. So it still has all the same things, file, edit, view, history, and so on. But they're all collapsed down into here. So now I have all of the space, it doesn't look as cluttered, and I have a lot of real estate to browse through. So that is the basic uh, kind of a glimpse at how you can go ahead and uh, do a lot of customizing of Firefox. This is just one specific customization. But through the different add-ons, you can really do whatever you want and uh, I encourage you to fiddle around with it. Um, and, uh, and that's it for the screencast. So thank you for watching. And this is Adam from MindForge Technologies. Uh, you can visit our website at mindforgetech.com. Thanks.